worst gamers ever. In this video, I'm going to go over the shotgun class from the Black Ops 3 beta. Uh, I tested these out stock, no attachments, just to see how they perform. Uh, just so you know, there were two other classified shotguns that I didn't get a chance to test out. So there will be at least two more we can, we can pick at a later date. I do have other videos up of the other primary weapons uh, in Black Ops 3, so check out my channel. The KRM-262. This is a pump action shotgun. I'm not sure what anybody would like about a pump action shotgun when you can have a semi-auto shotgun or a full auto shotgun. So unless you have some mid-1980s action hero movie fantasy, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, in real life, most people say they like the sound a pump action shotgun makes, uh, but if you release the bolt on an, even a semi-auto shotgun, trust me, the sound is very similar. But anyways, this is in real life. It's a video game, a future one at that, or a futuristic one at that. So I'll still give this an, a, a little overview here. It comes with 32 rounds. You can hold eight in a magazine tube. The iron sights aren't that great. Uh, the range sucks, the fire rate sucks, and the accuracy sucks. But the damage uh, is among the best. So... Um, that's if you can actually get close enough to shoot somebody with it. I really wouldn't recommend this weapon, uh, but if I did, it would just be for small maps. If you want to give it a try, maybe you'll have uh, better luck with it than I did. And this is the Haymaker 12. It's a fully auto shotgun. Need I say more? Probably not, but I will anyways. The range is better, the accuracy is better, but the damage isn't as good. Now, if you ask me, I think, you know, you're going to get two shots off on this Haymaker 12. The guy is going to die for as close as you have to be with it anyways. Uh, in the field test, you're going to see that it starts shooting to the right um, once you're firing. Uh, so I'm not sure if they're going to fix that. I didn't really like that too much, but not the biggest problem. Uh, it comes with 60 rounds. The magazine holds 16 of those. Uh, it's a lot faster to reload than the pump action shotgun. But uh, I'll get you started on watching the, the field test. Uh, please forgive the crappy commentary during the video. Uh, I didn't record so well and I only had so much time during the beta. Team Deathmatch. CDP, AO is hot. Weapons ready. Alright, so let's look at this uh, here. We got 32 rounds. Didn't go so well. All right, 32 rounds. Yeah. Holds eight. Let's see here. So, Hostile UAV I like the sights. I don't really like that circular front sight there, but Pretty close range. Look at hit fire. Yeah, it's all over the place. It takes UAV forever to bomb. reload this fucker. Shit. I'm trying to fucking record a video here, asshole. Get off my fucking shot next time. Obviously, long range is gonna suck. He's dead. One shot, one kill. Oh shit. The fucking guy right over here. How do you like that shotgun, buddy? Yes, I tell you, I see as we have. He's dead. Green light. Green light. Alright, so we got 60 rounds here. Well, 16 rounds. I like that fiber optic front sight there. That is full auto. It definitely goes to the right as you shoot. Let's go with this. Oh, a lot faster to reload. Definitely shoots to the right. I don't even know why you would go pump action. Whatever. To each their own. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. 
doesn't take that much to fill it. Oh no, this is full. Hey, how do you like this gun, buddy? Oh, as I die. Hey, whatever. It's only try to save him. this helps thanks for watching as i said we do have videos covering the other primary weapon classes please feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe as we will be posting more videos for black ops 3 among other games as well ever.